Hello, I'm Andrew Lissim, and welcome back to Ukraine of the South 4 as Ravenclaw. Poland uh, growing. Hmm. Hello, Poland. Oh, Muscovy, bloody hell. Yeah, well, that's Muscovy for you. Every time. Well, not every time, but very typical Muscovy action right there. Although Tver's fairly large. Let, right, let's go down here for actually stay down here, because I kept going like, woo, and it just felt like I was, you know... Not sure about where I was going, but it just seemed there was interesting stuff going on up there. Like, I'd never seen Tavir that big either. Uh, right. What are we going to do? Uh, we are probably going to have a slower episode than the last few. The last few have been very warlike, but... You know, we're looking at 26 aggressive expansion all round, really. Was that higher? No, okay. 30. Yeah, I managed to get a 30 there. Um, I'm not fancying doing anything where our expansion is that high. We'll let it tick down, and uh, we'll just do some diplomancing. Let's have a quick look at the Holy Roman Empire. 38 difference. I'm going to try and get people to like me a little bit more across the board. And we'll see where we end up. There are too few electors by the look of it to me. I mean, that looks like there's too few. I think there should be an extra one. Yeah, there should be seven. And they're losing a lot of Imperial Authority. 0.1 every month. Ooh. Okay. Monies. Good. How are we doing for our shipbuilding? I'm still building the second one. Maybe we should just like send out three and oh god. Air falls ill! <gasps> I don't care. My air is a zero zero zero. Should we try for some legitimacy? Not that we need it. Oh no. Didums. Uh, succession war between Milan and Ravenclaw. What? When Ron Ravenclaw dies, the following will happen. Succession war between Milan and Ravenclaw. Okay. No legal there. Sure. Okay. So I guess we'll have a war with Milan about who should succeed to the throne. Cool. Um, succeed to the throne. No. Seed. Succeed? No, it's succeed. Seed is to give up. Succeed is to take after. Yeah. So it is succeed. Alright. Let's send the trade fleet out. Not everyone, just three. And that's like 0.5 ducats. 0.55 ducats, actually. Alexandria, you go. Have fun. What are our merchants doing? Right, we haven't actually looked at merchants yet. Do I not have any merchants? No, it's colonists. I've got two merchants. Where are they? They're placed in the best places. So, steering here. You are steering, right? Transferring trade power. And where's the other merchant? Where is the other merchant? I can't see him. Where are you? Oh, you're up here, are you? 2.25 ducats. We could probably do with someone here. Like, no, no uh, trip has coming out of this node. Not that it needs to. Because we do actually have trade power flowing up here. Hmm. 2.23. 0.78. Yeah, it's not a very valuable trade node. Currently, land is a better trade, although that will that'll become a more important trade node eventually. Okay. Unpause. Cassus Belli. Rebel Uprising. Frankly, if they want to rise up, they can rise up. Back on the beat. They take their time, they can take their chances. If they go the distance... Ooh. Aww... The Pope answers only to God! Sure, mate. Sure. Ah, oh, well. We tried our best there. We'll invest. 50% chance, along with France. Oh, 33 now, along with England. Largest power and national unrest, or we can lose to prestige. You know what? I'll take the national unrest. Screw you, game. I want my, I want my uh, extra uh, level of... Uh, what's it called? Stability. I would like my extra level of stability. Thank you very much. I'll, I'll take the national revolt. I'm crazy like that. I've got a free diplomat. I should probably send you to someone. Who who wants a diplomat? Saxony. Improve relations. Oh, we are improving relations with Saxony. We maximise them with you. Uh, Trier. Oh. 
Slytherinock by France. Ooh. English conquest of Lothian. And England called Slytherin in. Okay. That makes sense. Hmm. Probably go to speed 5, really. There's nothing that's really stopping us from doing so. I'm just a bit concerned that something might happen. Although, I doubt anything will happen. Royal Match of Milan has ended. Well, that's fine. We don't actually have a government war form against Milan. They should change the same government as ours. We should make more English parliaments. That'd be amazing. We should totally do that. They're now an Ambrosian Republic. Yes, yeah, so they did switch to that. Which, you know, generally, you know, is to be expected. It's a pretty good government form. How are we doing? Fine. Gryffindor is entirely sieged by the Teutonic Order. Wow, you know you're doing poorly when the Teutonic Order sieges you. They have got six troops there. And they've got three. Like, they could just steamroll these three. Gryffindor are really idiots. Like, they could take the six, steamroll the three, and they could get all of these provinces back. They're, they're being sieged up by a two-province nation. And they have one, two, three, four, five, six. They're three times larger. <coughs> That's crazy. Right. Alliance are from England. The problem is I don't know if England would help. I don't know if they'd actually take any troops down to me. I'm pretty far away from them. I'd like to. But I don't know if I don't know if there'll be any use to me. I think I'm going to decline. I'd like to consider England in future, but right now they're absolutely no use to me, and there's a possibility they'll drag me into more wars that I just don't really want to be involved with, so... I mean, they don't give me anything, right? At the end of the day, they don't give me anything. They scare people from attacking me, and that's all they do. Technology. Is it Diplo? Yeah, it's Diplo. We'll grab it. Increase our trade efficiency. And we will have some new light ships. Excellent. Group. Send you to... Uh, we could get... Oh, we could almost duck it there. Go to Alexandria. Yeah, sure. I think the case is everyone's going to end up in Alexandria just fighting for trade. It's what happens in the Mediterranean. Ooh, Oldenburg has cancelled military access. General Gimelaris, although they really should have beaten to them. Yeah, I don't care about that. This, this trade node is, like, the most important one, really. The Mamluks have a lot of influence there, but they never really seem to push it. I'll, I'll be honest, you know, you'd expect them to be a little bit more forthright with their uh, power. Serbia. I wonder if we could get Serbia on side. I mean, it would mean taking on the Ottomans. We're way not in that area yet. Way not in that area yet. Although, I'd like to check the Ottomans early, because the Ottomans are definitely going to be a threat later in the game. So, if I can check them early, I'd like that. Burgundy are getting screwed. By one province nations again. Which is funny. Have you nominated anyone? No. You should nominate me. You'd love that, wouldn't you, Austria? People state still allied with and allied with Milan and Brittany and Hungary. Oh. I just that just no. Oh. This is going to be a block I can't really break. I can't take on Hungary yet. And I can't, you know, get bigger yet. Because, uh, I can't eat up Papal States. We call Diplomat from you. Who else do we go for? Um... We'll make friends with Brandenburg. Why not? Who's doing well? Brandenburg are doing well. Saxony are doing okay. Okay, so those are all options for, you know, future. Luca. You're one from Niner, aren't you? No, you're oligarchic republic. Okay. You're one from Niner still, I think. Um, out of France, Milan. No, you do you do nothing for me. No. Milan has been discovered fabricating a claim. 
Well, sod you, Milan. That's not your province. You're meant to be my ally. Wow. What a... Arse. What an absolute arse. Um, split cost my file. I love that. What an arse. The gall on that one. The gall. Ulm. Three city. Courtly painter. Ooh. Three prestige. And three stability. Oh, it's not three. I pay three. It's quite literally not three. But I will have it. I am money rich, stability, and prestige poor. Yes, I count two stability as poor. Ah, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right. How doing? Personal union still. Succession war between Gryffindor and Ravenclaw. Well, that's happened before. They didn't declare one Switzerland. They fight conquest. Okay. How's my aggressive expansion doing? Down to 20. 21, 24. Like, we've gone down to 6. It's not really enough. We're going, I fear we're going to be waiting here for quite a while. Restraint of appeals. Uh, it's tempting. But I can't have people hate me that much. I can't have it. I mean, going for, you know, leader of the HRE is much easier than Catholic Nation. And I'm definitely switching to Protestantism, because they've changed Protestantism up in this patch. They've changed it up quite a lot. So I'm definitely going to go for Protestantism. Basically, like, because it's your state religion, and it's not, like, preordained by some pope. Oh, Castile are fighting back. Um, because it's, like, a state religion, it's not preordained by a pope. You can be like, I'm going to customize it, and you can, like, switch in certain things, and you can change it around. It's all kinds of fun. Called diplomat. Yeah, they'd all join. I have two active cardinals. That's the wrong one. That's the right one. Two active cardinals. Not bad. Uh, I'm I'm behind France. I mean, I'm I'm drawing with uh, Milan. Spain, Burgundy. Well, it's not Spain, sorry, it's Castile. Um, but, you know, for a, you know, a small HRE nation. I'm not a small nation. Actually, I'm, I think I'm classified as a large HRE nation. Tuscany wants an alliance. Really? Are you afraid of um, the Papal States? And that's why you're trying to ally me. I suspect that's the case. I think you're trying to ally me because you're afraid of the Papal States. I might do if I could vassalize you down the road. But it's a long... Yeah, it's a real long way. I'm going to decline. You're no use to me, really. Siena. Administrative Republic. And you would turn down vassalization as well. Urbino got eaten. Poor Urbino. Hmm. I've got a spare diplomat that I should probably use again. How do I remember? We're sitting at 42 here. I don't. I won't be able to swing it this time around. And it looks like it's going to be Trier. Oh, sorry, Hess. Uh, Hess is the uh, emperor, which I like. You know, provided it's not Austria, I'm happy. I might actually start making Hess my friend. That's Lorraine. That's Hess. There we go. On the basis that Hess might win. If Hess wins, I would like them on side. Burgundy. Successor! 3-3-3. Three, three, three. You know what? I would accept that. Fine. I'd prefer more, but 3-3-3 three, three, three will do. Uh, Alliance offer from Burgundy. Burgundy. No. You're, 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 you're the dead man walking of Europe. That's both historically true, effectively, uh, and, uh, and true in this instance as well. Um, I will turn down the alliance. Keeping my slots through is a bit of a mistake. Because I should probably use them, because if I get declared war, I'd like, you know, people to turn me down rather than just... You understand what I mean. I'd like that to be people to turn me down rather than just having no one to even think about it. Why do they not like me all of a sudden? 
Milan, we used to be friends. Unlawful territory, border friction. They want all my provinces, but they can sod off. Suddenly Milan hate me. Really weird. First idea group. Oh yeah. Bosnia declared war on... <laughs> Bosnia declared war on Venice. Okay. Interesting to see that you form, Bosnia. Notman's uh, sprawling pretty hard, but... Would you be my girl? Closer, but no. Um, oh wait, we can actually get our first idea group now. Oh, there are options, right. Aristocratic is good because it gives us an extra diplomat. Hostile core creation on us. Income from vassals. Manpower modified, 25%. Decay of tradition. Diplomat. Military tech cost. Especially nice when you get it early for the military tech cost. Lose about upkeep, plus one. Again, nice. Especially the early game. Um, quantity. You need that if you're going large. There is no parallel. You need that if you're going large. It's it's simply the best. Simply the best! Bow! Bow! Yeah, uh, better than all the rest. It is. It is actually just better than all the rest. Because uh, we've got a lot of money. We are money rich. But we're hitting our force on it. And we're still making good money. We could get a larger army if we had quantity ideas. But, humanist... Influence and where's the other one? Uh, religious, all really good as well. So humanist, for instance, because you get stuff like religious unity, national unrest, tops of heretics, and especially the accepted culture threshold. This one here in the HRE is really good because of the different cultures. That said, I think we can rule that out because I will prefer to go religious because I'm going to be going for really heavily down the Protestant route. Missionary versus heretics, yearly prestige, influence, strength, missionaries, yeah. Deus Vault. Again, Deus Vault is going to be really nice as well. I want to go religious. Influence. Income from vassals. Time to fabricate claims. Annexation cost. Aggressive expansion impact, minus 20%. Really good. Reputation plus 2, again, really good, especially in the HRE. Different relations plus one. Again, we can try and get another like uh, elector on side. Envoy travel time, nice. Um, subject force submit contribution, and then unjustified demands. Again, a really nice tree. I think I might go quantity, quantity religious influence. I think is going to be the way I do it. Quantity, religious influence, aristocratic, something like that. The extra diplomat is going to be really good. There's no question about that. I would love to get diplomat. Diplomatic is not bad, but overall, not quite as good. In my view. Um, quantity. Manpower. Again, we've got zero manpower. Yeah, quantity. It also protects us. Early game. Pretty far away from the next level, so we will get that. 5% off, it'll cost us 380. Bam. We are almost on yearly inflation reduction, which means we probably have to check that. Our inflation is 0.3 in rising. We did have a guy reducing our inflation, we actually had an advisor doing it for us. But now we don't. We have to pay a bit more attention to that. Venice, sure. Not that you need it. Oh my god, Venice, really? You're taking Bosnia out? Poor Bosnia. These person in Albania? Hmm. I could ally them. I'm not gonna, but I could. Oh my god. I'm so not used to this early game where all, like the entire map is dark when you zoom in. It's so weird. It's a weird, weird world. Can't really get a good view of the HRE. This is, this is something that's kind of unique to a HRE start like this. Ooh. I get a claim on Modena. Where's Modena? Find. Modena. Or I could find Modena. Ah, yeah, it's one of these ones on the Ferrara. I would love to. But I can't, not with their allies. 
That would simply be very, very stupid suicide. Like, Brandenburg are never going to vote for me because they're voting for themselves, but they might like me more. Relations with Hess are higher. That's the only reason they're beating me there. I mean, I could swing people. I could be the leader of the HRE. I could probably swing three nations. I could get Trier, I could get Saxony, and I could get Cologne. And it's really tempting to do right now. Could be the leader of the HRE. But it does mean a lot of defending people from outside nations, and I'm not quite strong enough. But it does sound pretty sexy. But I'd have to give it up when I went Protestant. I think you give it up automatically. Yeah, I don't think I'll try through it right now. Uh, but I definitely want to be going Protestant. So, you're coming back from that. Slytherin, France. Well, I'll try and make Slytherin like me. I don't know if I'll go for the Alliance, really. That said, they could pretty... They're pretty strong. You know, France is France, but Slytherin are pretty strong. And if Slytherin do get the Clare War on, England will join as well against France. So that does make Slytherin a safer bet, because the one that's likely to attack them, France, will get attacked by England. Would they ever alliance me? They would. So I can choose. I can choose between France and Slytherin. Oh. They broke a moral marriage, so I don't like them. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, there's no way I can solve that. Yeah, there's no way I can solve that, because that means they have to like improve their relations with me. So, in fact, I'm just going to go... I'm going to take the sliver in. I'll improve relations with Slytherin. I won't ally them yet. Because I'd like to at least have the option of the HRE leadership. Because it's really, really tempting. Oh, look at that. Really not going up much there. 13 provinces in the Empire under control of non-member states or subjects of non-member states. This reduces the Imperial authority by 0.13 in addition to the fact there's only six electors. Very disappointing there. Hmm. Oh well, I think we'll end the episode here. I've been at Aurelisium. I don't know whether we'll go for the HRE leadership. We could probably make a bid for it, and we might be successful. And the first thing I would do is I would... Probably war against Burgundy. If we've got Slytherin on the side, that would be a pretty instant win. Burgundy, kick out some states there. I'd nominate an extra elector. I could push through reforms pretty fast. I think we should try it. I really think we should try it, especially since this is a HRE game. But if you've liked today's episode, please remember to like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. It really does help, and you know, especially with the uh, new series and all that. But until next time, stay shiny.